It's really important to consider Ebola just as any other outbreak in a, in a context. The uh, historic context, the health context, the political context, etc. This is the, uh, about the 25th known outbreak of Ebola virus infection since 1976. And up to now, every single outbreak was uh, fairly contained in time and place. But now suddenly, we are uh, confronted with not just an epidemic, but with a humanitarian crisis. And in West Africa, where never before uh, there had been a, a known Ebola outbreak. In this course, we'll look at how Ebola, a disease that many people had never heard of until last year, has caused a humanitarian crisis and worldwide panic. We will look at how we measure what's going on and the impact of interventions, and to consider the lessons for the future. What are the principles of infectious disease transmission that underlie it? What's the social context of the epidemic? And how can we combine our understanding of how infectious diseases behave on the one hand and of the context on the other to reduce transmission and control the outbreak? In this course, we look at all these questions with contributions from experts from a range of disciplines, including those who have been directly involved in the Ebola outbreak at different stages and from different angles. In each section, we move from the theory to the reality to understand the science behind the epidemic and the responses to it. The fundamental reason we have this uh, massive epidemic is the lack of response initially, and there is no excuse for that. And that was a result of denial and, uh, you know, and not facing the reality by the governments, but also by the international community. Outbreaks can only be understood and uh, controlled when you apply multiple disciplines and what they bring to it. And uh, therefore, this course is really for everybody. At our school, we believe very strongly in the power of uh, interdisciplinary synergies to understand the world, to understand even a very precise uh, issue like an epidemic.